Hey YouTube, Maddie's Daddy 12 here with another video for you guys. And this one's actually going to start off a whole new segment. Uh, it's going to be the collector's closet. Um, well, because mainly that's where I keep all my my stuff is in the closet. Because uh, the wife won't let me graduate up to a corner just yet. But maybe, just maybe someday, I'll be able to put my stuff in the corner. So we can have a collector's corner instead of a collector's closet. But for right now, I keep my stuff in my closet. Because that's where the wife tells me I have to keep it. But, um, working at... Uh, a card shop. Of course, you guys know that I work at Legit MTG, home store of Legit YGO. Uh, I help run the Yu-Gi-Oh events there. And, and when you work at a card shop like this, really cool things come in from time to time. And this is going to be my new segment where I just get to show off some of the cool stuff that comes in. Um, and some of the cool stuff that I'm able to pick up because uh, of the extra privileges you get by working at one of these card shops. So, uh, like you guys have heard, like... You never know what's going to come through the door on Pawn Stars. It's kind of that same way for a card shop whenever you're into nerdy stuff like we're into. So, the first segment of Collector's Closet might as well start with the first, one of the first products ever released for Yu-Gi-Oh! A sealed starter deck Kaiba. Uh... I don't know if you guys can see it there. There's still the Millennium Eye sticker there and the Millennium Eye sticker there. Sealed, unlimited, uh, started at Kaiba. Um, and this is back in the day when they didn't even show the deck lists on the back. An ancient In ancient Egypt, there existed a force so powerful it had to be locked away for a millennia. Now one, bo and one boy has released the power. It's time to duel. Uh, it comes with 50 cards, 47 commons, 3 foils, 1 rule book, 1 game mat. Its original release date was March 29th of 2002. That's right, 13 years ago. This was on the shelf for nine dollars and 99 cents that was how we all started Yu-Gi-Oh way back when um, a cool story about these starter decks uh, uh, to, and to kind of show you guys how ignorant uh, some of us were whenever this uh, stuff actually started um, I personally, uh, one of my first purchases was a first edition Kaiba and a first edition Yugi uh, starter decks. Uh, and uh, I was so dumb that when the unlimited ones, when I saw that there was some that didn't have first edition on them, uh, I thought that, and I, I realized that there was going to be a difference between first edition and unlimited. I actually went back to Walmart and I purchased some of the unlimited uh, starter decks because I thought that it would have different cards in it than the original uh, first edition one, which I was sadly mistaken whenever I opened it and realized that it did not. Uh, I did, however, then have a, another copy of the Blue Eyes White Dragon, which was awesome way back in that time. Um, but yeah, so of course I opened those. Uh, this one was actually one that came in through the shop, and uh, a guy I brought it in. They were sealed, and I was like, "Yeah, I'm a nerd. I gotta have this stuff." So uh, there you go, guys. A sealed starter deck Kaiba. Uh, the first one of the first starter decks that was available to us. Of course, you also had the Yugi. Uh, I don't have a Yugi um, sealed starter deck from the original. So I actually may be in the market for that. I don't really know. I may actually consider just getting rid of these. Uh, you do all you, anything like this, anything sealed, like you have to fight the urge to want to open these things. Um, however, it's not that hard for me to fight the urge because sealed uh, on eBay, one of these still goes for around seventy-five to a hundred dollars. Uh, I've seen some as high as one hundred and fifty uh, on eBay. 
Um, so yeah, they are still extremely collectible uh, and still uh, pretty cool. Most people uh, don't even realize these things still exist. Uh, to give you guys an idea of some of the cards that are actually inside of this, uh, I know a lot of people are going to post down below and be like, uh, show me your pulls. Yeah, that's not going to happen. <laughs> not going to open this. Uh, however, there is a mint condition blue out white dragon in there if you guys are interested in that. Um, but yeah, to give you guys an idea of just what kind of gems we're dealing with in this, there's a, a blue Blue Eyes White Dragon is your Ultra Rare. Of course, Lord of D and Flute of Summoning Dragon are your Supers. There is a uh, Common Battle Ox, uh, Common Judge Man, which of course was a normal monster, a, a one tribute monster, uh, a Common Rogue Doll, uh, Mystic Horseman was in this. Um, what else was in here? Oh, Master and Expert was in here. Uh, Dark Energy was a common equip spell. I don't remember what it does, but it was in there. Invigoration was a common uh, equip spell. Dark Hole was in it. Uh, you did have the option to Ukazi for game when using this starter deck because Ukazi was in there. Uh, Sword Stalker. Legion, the Mystic Genie of the Lamp. Now that was actually significant because... When all these sets were being released, like uh, LOB and uh, Metal Raiders and those kind of things, like the old, old sets, Legion, stuff like Legion, uh, Seven Colored Fish, like those normal summonable 1800 monster, 1800 attack monsters were extremely important. So yeah, they were actually, this was getting opened for the Legions at one time just because people needed that card. Uh, Rude Kaiser is in here. Uh, let's see a couple other things. I actually, I actually went through the trouble of printing through the de uh, through the list of everything that was in here. Uh, Fissure, uh, the normal spell card Fissure, uh, which was replaced by uh, uh, Smashing Ground. Uh, that was in here along with Trap Hole, Monster Reborn. Uh, Hand Hand was in here. Remove Trap was in here. Uh, Ultimate Offering, which is now banned, uh, is in here also. So yeah, guys, there you go. That was just a, uh, a small look into the past. Uh, a little collector's item, if you would. Um, for anybody that may be interested in this kind of stuff, like there you go. Like it's it's way back when. 2002 guys so there you go that's the first look into uh my uh, little collection of uh oddball stuff i appreciate it guys subscribe comment down below show us how much you love us